Hello, my name is Katherine Carter, and I'm going to read you the poem Hornet's Nest, which appeared in issue 25 of Ecotone. The background is that I am one of those people who likes to collect the big gray paper football-shaped nests of the bald-faced hornet and do something with them. There really isn't much to do with them except what we might loosely call decor. Uh, sometimes I hang them on the wall or on the ceiling. Uh, should you wish to do this yourself, please do wait until there have been several hard freezes. You really do not want to engage with bald-faced hornets when they are at home. So this is Hornet's Nest. Gray paper sack full of venom. You've watched its dark door since the last blackberry brambles loosed their grip on jagged crimson leaves rhymed with silver, revealing the soft nest suspended from a slender bar of lightweight hooks and needles. Now though, when you come with clippers there at home to hang in triumph from your ceiling, it looks different now. Swollen large as a cow's heart, ringed with barbed wire thorns, it pulses gravity like some clouded moon, the blind black hole at the bottom, a wordless mouth. First the earth, then its glittering chain of satellite trash begins to realign, to circle around this homemade house, this labyrinth of women, of makers, one of the endless, ominous, softly throbbing hearts of everything. This poem also appeared in my most recent collection, Larvae of the Nearest Stars, uh, which came out with LSU Press in 2019. And should you wish for it, uh, you can order it directly through LSU Press, or if you have an independent bookstore, I'm sure they would be very happy to order it for you. Thank you for listening.